What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to draw knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog. So let's grab some paper and something to draw with and let's get started. Now we're going to be drawing our character from the side. So let's start all the way over on the left side of our page and draw an oval for the nose. We're going to start right at the very top, go all the way around, towards the bottom, and then back up. Let's add a small oval along the top center for a highlight. And then we'll fill the bottom of the nose in black. Now from here, we're going to work our way across the top of the muzzle. Let's start from the top right side of the nose. We're going to bend this up and then come down. Let's create an overlap. We're going to step back, bend this up, and then out. Now to place the eye on top of the muzzle, let's start with a fold in between the brow. We're going to start up here, bend this out, and then up. Let's move over towards the right and draw on the top of the eyelid. We're going to bend this in and then up. Let's gradually bend this out towards the right, towards the top of the eye. Now we're going to create a fold along the top. So we're going to step back, round up the side of the eye, come down, and then in on top of the cheek. Now we're going to draw an oval shifted over towards the right side for the iris. We're going to tuck this in underneath the cheek. So we're going to start from the bottom, draw that oval. Going all the way around towards the top, come down, and then tuck that in. Let's trace this oval along the inside of the pupil, going all the way around and then back up. And then along the top, we draw a small circle for a highlight. And we'll fill the bottom of the pupil in black. Let's go back over towards the left side and draw the top of the left brow. From the bottom, step out, then it's out and up. And then we'll gradually bend that out towards the top of the eye. Now from here, we're going to step back, draw the outside of the eye, bend this down, and then in. Let's push the iris and pupil towards the inside. So we're going to start from the top, just going to round up the side, and pull that in. Let's trace the inside and just fill that in black. Now we want to wrap the brow around the eye. So we're going to start from the side, and go around and up, come in, and then bend that down. Let's add that fold across the top of the right eye. We're going to go up, go across, and then out. Now from here, we're going to overlap the hair on top of the face. Let's line up at the top of the eye, move over. It's going to bend this out, across the cheek, come down, and just bend that in. Now you want to taper this so it gets wider as you come up towards the top. We'll start at the bottom, going out, and then just bend that up and then in. Let's tuck the second one in behind. So we're going to start from the bottom, come down, and then in towards the same height. And again, just taper it so it gets wider as we come out, up, and in. Now I'm going to add one more. It's lining up this point. Again, just tucking this in behind, coming down. I'm just going to go a little bit lower. Go all the way out, round up the side, Come up and in. Now we're going to place the mouth on the top right side. Let's start underneath the cheek. We start with a fold, going across and then down. From the top, step over, bend the mouth, coming down and over towards the left. From the end of the mouth, we're going to step in, hold this down, and just tuck that up underneath that bracket. Now inside the mouth, we're gonna add a zigzag pattern for the teeth. We're gonna start from the bottom right, go up, come down. Let's add another point, going up, down, and then up. Now we're gonna go back underneath the nose and curve the head, coming down around the mouth, and then up in behind the hair. Come down, round up the head, and then bend that up. Now we wanna draw on the top of the head. Let's start on top of the left brow. It's gonna bend the head, going up, and then across. Let's add a bend. We're going to go up and over towards the back of the head. Let's flatten off the top, going out and then down. Now it's going to tuck that last braid in behind. It's going to go a little bit shorter, come down, and then bend that into right about there. And we'll just tuck that up and in underneath. Let's add a couple braids along the back side of the head. We're going to start underneath the chin, 
and this down and across and taper this and tuck this up underneath the head. Let's add one more, starting from the top, coming down. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how I draw Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to draw more characters like this, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.